Welcome to Fremont. Welcome back to the Fremonti, and this is episode number four. We are so happy to be back. We are so happy to have you back. Let's jump right into the video. How do you guys cope with stress? Let's talk about that. There's different ways to cope with stress, but for me, I listen to music or I go to sleep. To cope with stress, I like to keep myself distracted, so I play video games, or sometimes I even take naps, so then when I wake up, I feel refreshed and motivated to finish my work. When I get stressed from all my learning, I usually take some time for myself to just do what I like to do, such as read books, watch some of my favorite shows, or listen to music. A way I have been coping with stress lately during this pandemic is spending time with pets because it's very relaxing spending time with pets. Another way I reduce stress is through watching funny videos. My final way to reduce stress is go outside and just sit in the sun for a while. During these difficult times, our stress levels have obviously increased, and some of the ways I cope with stress is by doing things that I like. Whether it's watching a show that I enjoy, reading a book, or even baking, it helps minimize my stress. Sometimes even just relaxing and taking a nap helps a lot. How I, de how I deal with stress is probably meditating, or I just use my phone, because it just makes me forget about everything. There are many ways I cope with stress. My favorite one is meditating. I haven't meditated in a while, but when I used to meditate, I would feel very relaxed. I would feel very calm. And I would actually feel like very motivated to do things. There are multiple things I like to do to cope with the stress of distance learning. One thing I, I've been doing while, free, while football season has been going on is um, I used to watch all the football games every Sunday. Um, when I'm not doing that, I'm either watching TV or movies on streaming apps. And then I usually like to play video games or just be on my phone. Wow, that was so informational. I hope that helps you guys cope with some stress. Now let's move on to some cute pets. Oh my god, all the pets were so cute, and I just want to add note, this is my newest addition. He does look like he has orange, um, I mean gray feathers, but this is because he's a baby, he is only, he's barely going to turn a month old, so he's still a baby, he's still growing, so this is mine, his name's Kiwi. Now let's move on to a reflection of one year of distance learning. My year of distance learning has been somewhat decent. It has certainly been hard to get accustomed to online learning and all the other factors that come with it. It is a bit easier now than it was at the start of the year, but I'm sure there are still some difficulties both teachers and students face. However, I think that the important part is to continue to try hard and just be hopeful for the future. When online school started, it was a bit confusing and difficult, but now it's been almost one year that we've been doing online learning, and I think I've gotten the hand of doing all my work online. It's still been a bit stressful, but I've tried to keep my motivation for school. For me, distance learning has been really easy, and my teachers are reasonable with the work, and they also understand when our Wi-Fi goes out or something like that. The pandemic has changed my life greatly. In this pandemic, uh, learning is not the same as back in school, so that's one of the problems that I'm facing in this pandemic. And then this year, my stress levels have gone 
very much very much up but the good thing is i am learning how to deal with my stress and reduce it my year of distance learning has been a little complicated because i feel that teachers um give us a lot more work than we're usually used to and it's kind of hard to focus in class due to so many distractions around me and that's something that affects me because i sometimes struggle with math and physics and those are things i feel i would learn better if i were in school physically it's so crazy to think that it's already been a year since we started distance learning it feels like just yesterday we're still in school anyways let's move on to things that matter to students family and friends are really important to me because they are the ones who bring me the most joy Something that is very important to me is my family because they are always there when I need them and they also provide for me and my other siblings and make sure we're successful. Some things that are really important to me are family and friends, especially during these hard times when you may need that support from people. Something that matters to students could be their grades or how they're doing in school. 